Hi everyone, in today's session we'll talk about how to add output responses in HyperStudy, uh, whether it's a displacement or an element stress uh, using the define output responses, right? So uh, let's get started. So click on add model. We'll use a parameterized file model in this case and we'll select the TPL file, right? So this is a variable that we have defined. We'll click on OK and we'll just mention the file name here. So we edit it and no. Select the solver, we click on import variables and we have the variable in HyperStudy imported from the parameterized file model. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click run definition and once the run gets finished uh, we'll be able to add the output responses in HyperStudy um, when the element or nodes are in a range, right? So just let's just wait for it. Right, so now file assistant option is quite handy. So we'll click on it and automatically uh, selects the folder. In this case, let's select the S3D file. HyperStudy understands that he has to use Hyper 3D Reader. So we'll just click on next. And in this case, we'll select multiple items at multiple time steps. Click on next and let's select element stresses. And I think most of the times customer would be uh, using this option where they're not interested in a range of elements, right? So we'll go ahead and click on next and we'll keep settings as default. Click on finish and we have the max element stress um, pertaining to that model itself. But what about you have to add the max element stress in, in a set of uh, elements, right? So in a range of elements, I, I mean click on file assistant again right so multiple items at multiple time steps click on next in this case let's select element stresses again but uh, now instead of the entire model we want to specify a range so make sure you enter the element number click on enter so that it gets registered under start options similarly you click on the the uh, range of the elements that you are looking at, uh, for to add in HyperStudy. This will be in the range of element number 85 to element number 90. As you can see, the preview has changed. We'll click on next and again, once again, keep the settings to default. Click on finish and evaluate. So now you can see that in this specific range, the element stresses is, is, it is different. It's 10.5 compared to 25.6. But what if there's another option uh, that you can leverage, right? So click again on file assistant keep the settings to default again multiple items at multiple time steps click on next in this case let's again select element stresses let's select the range from element 85 to element 90 right uh, click on next and this time round we'll click on slice data we, we are not using single data source and we'll keep the option option of create individual response to maximum and combine data source to maximum right so click on finish and you will now be able to see that hyperstudy automatically individually slices these individual output responses and also create a maximum so this 10.57 is similar to the one that you have added previously but what extra it has done is is done the slicing of the data as you can see uh, element having different range of uh, element stresses um, across the range right so yeah so that is about how to add the output responses from a range of elements right it can be used for displacement or any other output response